This video will show the correct way to read the action card deck in Inside the Crease Hockey tabletop game made by Inside Sports. Now the uh, action deck consists of 200 cards and for the purpose of the video we're just going to remove some of them because when it's time to flip the cards it's going to cast a shadow so we'll, we'll just use a few cards for the demonstration. Now the action cards are two-sided okay, and they're meant to be read like a book from left to right. So this top reading right here, th this is what drives the action on every play sequence. Pass 2, this shows what position it's going to and this shows a 1 to 40 number that you read off the player's card the individual player card and just to give you a look at the individual player cards this is a game board I made for my I made by myself to put all the cards on okay so this number is read from left to right and the same with the shot number if this play number yields a result on the player card that's going to result in a shot you're going to look at the shot number which is going to be 1 to 100 on the goalies card and this is a possible um, defensive stop a possible block by the defense now where new players to the game sometimes make a mistake and this comes up from time to time on the uh, Delphi forum which um, there is a forum for inside the crease for inside sports games at uh, Delphi forums where you can uh, read about the game and discuss different issues so what happens is when you when you start the game this side of the action card should always be face up the side with pass to and a position what happens is if you start the game like this and flip this way you're gonna get uh, very high scoring results and then you're gonna be complaining on the Delphi forum that the game is not realistic so the reason why you don't do it this way is because every time you flip a card you want to be reading a new shot number and not necessarily the same shot number every time but what happens when you do it this way Okay, let's say let's say you flip um, this card this way. Okay, yeah, go back one, show it this way. Let's say you've, you've, you you flip the card this way, and it's showing a pass to the right defenseman, and it's number one on the one to forty number. Now that's going to be a good quality shot on just about every player's uh, card shooting column now what happens is when you flip this to look at the 1 to 100 number you're always reading the same number that that is the opposite from this card so every time you you get a number one up here which is indicating a good quality shot on goal the shot number is always going to be a number three which on just about every goalie that's going to be a goal so every time this card comes up there's going to be a goal scored now when you when you do it the correct way which is you start the game this way now what happens is here we have a pass going to the center number eleven in his shooting column now you're going to look at the shot here by flipping another card so you're always flipping a card you're always getting a new and different number in the in the uh, 1 to 100 shot range and you do it this way and your games will turn out realistic so again you start with the deck with the pass to position facing up and you flip this way and you read from left to right 
and you're always flipping a new card every time you need to get a new number. Okay, hope that helps and happy gaming.